Hello, and today we are going to be doing uh, one from DC Comics. Going to be doing the Flash. So, uh, hope you guys dig it. Going to be hanging out with me for a little bit here. Pop in the preemptive strike of the cough drop here so that we don't uh, have the allergy upset. That has become the norm as of late. <laughs> Give me just a second here. Okay. Get this thing out of the way. I actually have my, uh, I keep my mouse pad up on my drafting board because I like to reach across and whatnot. So. I had to move that out of the way, but anyway, everybody's out to cons today and stuff, and uh, if you guys are hanging out there today, I'm more power to you, glad you got to make it, but if you're hanging out here, that's awesome too, um, just knocking out a little bit of artwork, doing some pages and stuff, um, <clears throat> just trying to get stuff knocked out for this week because due to the whole scanner death thing I had to uh, get away from full pages for a bit while I was waiting for that and I was stockpiling those and uh, ended up replacing it and then it died and I had to go get a new one and hopefully this one's gonna work uh, third times the charm I had a, oh, what was it, a, uh, an HP 7600 series, the last one, and I really, really liked it. Smooth scanner, really, really nice glass on it, but it died. It was sad. There were tears. So, um, then after that, I replaced it with an upgrade of a 7700 series, and it had this funky line in the... Uh, in the glass I I'd never seen that before and I've worked with a lot of scanners but anyway long and short of it is we're gonna make it happen so and I'm a fan of um, <clears throat> the Wally West Flash, by the way, from the 80s and 90s, I'm not really into the Barry West revival, you know, or the Barry Allen, excuse me, Barry West, geez, Barry Allen revival, and I'm not into, you know, the the others as much. It, it's just a personal preference, because I just don't like them. Uh, their personalities don't resonate to me to draw, so... I don't. And it's okay if you guys do. Don't get don't get bent at me, you know, because I disagree with some, you know, Barry Allen's the first and flat best and blah blah blah. And I know one, he's not, we know that. And two is I'm not disagreeing with you, I'm not doing anything funky. Just a personal preference. Because when Wally West took the reign, it was <clears throat> it was a huge deal when he came up from the first Kid Flash, and I really enjoyed those stories. So that's what resonated with me. But anyway. And you can send all of your hate mail from this video to, <laughs> to Rusty Gilligan. <laughs> My boy Rusty. Yeah, it sucks, man, but I mean, you move on, you know. 
it's part of the job it's technology it gets in the way and you move on gotta keep on trucking because the editors don't care and since I'm one of them I really know how that goes uh, I want to go to a longer line on that one Nope. Where's my three? Okay. For time's sake, I'll just go ahead and do this with a five and try to be skippy about it so that we get the look we want. And not that weird heavy line. There it goes. Okay, cool. Played this out this morning. My daughter is at home from uh, grade school. She graduated last week, and uh, it was funny when I was drawing out this stuff. She goes, "Hey, I'm gonna nickname him Sparky, just to aggravate me." She's 11, so I was like, "Okay, is it gonna be that kind of day?" Love that kid, but uh, yeah. It was going to be that kind of day. She's like me. She's sarcastic and got jokes. And sometimes it aggravates me because she's so much like me. Wouldn't give it for the world, though. So, enough of that. <clears throat> Playing ring around the mask here. Let me go ahead and pop that out. A lot of people like to get all crazy when they draw this character. I don't. I like to keep it very clean, very simple. And I do this with, as you guys know, I do this with a lot of my drawings. But this character specifically, I like to keep him wide open. I don't do a bunch of the, um, the crimson shading, you know, like a lot of guys do. And no offense to them for doing that. I, I just don't want to do it because I don't want to muck up the costume with a bunch of stuff that doesn't belong there. But, I will add a little contouring here and there, but I'm not going to dig you know, deep into that because I don't want to mess it up. Because I'm not one to show every little muscle. I'd rather do them in pops of groups and show them up that way. Like, there's the bicep there. We know what that's about. Underside of the tricep right there. That kind of thing. Let's 
curve this right up into here. So you guys have gotten to see the uh, the Flash season finale yet? Yeah, I haven't gotten to. Um, sadly, I, I have to admit, I just got into the series, and we just started watching it. I haven't paid attention to it because I didn't think it was going to last as long as it did. Um, that's just... <laughs> but uh, it actually popped up, and it's, it's holding its own. I saw posts from people streaming about season three's finale yesterday, and I just thought that was funny. They were all freaking out. There we go, we're back now. <laughs> I don't know what happened there. I believe I had an internet connection problem. Um, that would be a, a service issue. Not anything with what we're doing. That's that's really unfortunate. So, getting the graphite off the back of my hand here. But yeah, um, I don't know what that connection problem was, but we'll go from there. Anyway, so, thanks for sticking around. Glad it came back. I'm just fleshing out this mask a little bit. You didn't miss anything. I caught it whenever it went out, and I just stopped. So, we will pick up from right there. You won't have to worry about it. You didn't miss a thing. 
So anyway, hopefully that's just a glitch and it's not bad weather coming in. That would be a bummer. It's a sign. <laughs> Now the reason I'm shading this in in black right here is because I'm going to make this the shadow side obviously. In the front end, I'm going to put all the highlights of the speed back here around him. So you guys will be able to see that. Now everybody's going to be going, now you got to shade all the rest of it. Well, I may have to. I may have shaded myself into a corner. Which I'm okay with that. But I'm just doing this one side though. I don't want to do the whole thing. Like I said, I don't want to do all that definition and stuff because it makes it look weird um, in my opinion so I will shape that out grab the nine here I'll shadow that out since I did it already Should make him pop out a little better. Leave that there. Show a little light peeking through under there. Just to separate that shoulder. Make this come up a little bit more, like that. Shade that out. Now that we got those ribs in there, I can drop in this big lap shadow right back here. And then I'll go ahead and use the nine here because it's the big edge. And pop in his ribs in his back. Oh, uh, it depends, Matt. Um, I do it one of two ways, man. I either go from the classic style and uh, go, you know, like 70s, 80s, where you go one color and let the line work do the support, or I come in with three tones. You come in with a base tone, then a base middle ground red, and then you go off of the others and go for a highlight on one side and lead into your white, or you go off into the shadow side and go into a maroon. So... But I like to use deep reds on him. I use a really strong red when I draw him because of the fact that I just like the way it pops. And then I go and darken it with a with a maroon in most cases because that gives the, the support of the shadow. And the way you do that, um, well, the way I do that is I like to go in on shadow side and put in a rim of it uh, just right along the edge. So... Like this line right here in 
the entry of the shoulder into the neck there. What I would do is I would shade that dark maroon right in that section, and I would go right along here, right up underneath this collarbone, and I would put maroon right in there, and then I would put a dash or two in here just to break it up. And, you know, you just shadow one side of it and light side the other side, and it'll, it'll pop out. Wherever you have your major shadows, that's what you want to line right along that edge with, uh, with the shadow. And what I like to do is take the primary red, base it out, and then go just a little bit above, like there's a separate line right in here. And I'll just go ahead and draw it because I'll erase it. This line right here, this is where I would put the maroon, right here. That leaves that little highlight right there in between so that you don't have to mess with that. And then you can go back and put the maroon right here over the base red, and then you put your, your highlight, leave your spot open for it to blend into your highlight up here. So I hope that answers that question for you. Go ahead and uh, erase that out of there. But uh, yeah, that's the way it works, man. I would rather be color dependent and leave it open and clean than muck it up with a bunch of colors that I, I don't need to use. You know what I mean? Um, that's just my choice. So, And a lot of people would say, well, there's not going to be any black down here because this is a lightning bolt. But the thing is, it's coming out of him, though. And that suit doesn't reflect. So a little bit of a difference. I said I wasn't going to darken this up, but I changed my mind, just in case you guys are wondering. I, I just went ahead and darkened it up. So. Like I said, I shadowed myself into a corner. So, 